Hey everybody. Sorry I'm running a little bit late today. I just hopped out of the shower. My hair's a little wet. Um, but ooh, if, as you can see, I have a new shelf behind me. I think it looks really nice. Um, but this is Pokemon Emerald and I'm really excited because in our Battle Frontier series here, we have not done much battle frontiering. And by not much, I mean none at all. Excuse me. But today is the day that we get the squad ready. Because I have ground, grinded, uh, the squad up to the requisite levels to where we can just top it off with rare candies. I have 10 rare candies. I'm actually really glad that I saved them throughout the playthrough so that I could do this. Um, so let's see. And we're going to try to get some move sets finalized. I might wait just a little bit to do something with Starmie. Um, but we'll see. We'll see about that. Okay. So, uh, right now, <laughs> sorry, we have Harry the Starmie, Thunderbolt, Confuse Ray, Light Screen, Surf, Arrow the Shellgon, uh, uh, his move set is going to change a little bit. Um, and we have Stevie the Matang. Now, Matang is very important because Matang actually evolves at level 45, but that means it would not learn its great move Meteor Mash until after level 50, and we're only training to level 50. So, what I'm gonna do with Matang is I am going to continue to stop its evolution so that way, it can learn Meteor Mash at level 50, and then I will let it evolve. So as you can see, Stevie is evolving, and if I just press B while that is happening, he will stop. Huh, Stevie stopped evolving, just as I planned. Um, so, uh, let's see. We're gonna do two more of those, and then uh, Stevie will finally get to his final form. All right, and we've seen this. There we go. All right, so what's going to happen here is we have one more level to go. I am going to give Stevie the rare candy, and what's going to happen first is that Stevie is going to try to learn the move Meteor Mash, baby. Yes. So we'll get rid of Metal Claw, and that is going to basically finalize his moveset. We could still get rid of Psychic, um, but we'll see about that later. And now, I can let Stevie evolve into Metagross, which I am stoked about. Incredible. Yeah, baby! Hey, what's up, Chloe? Thanks for stopping in. Um, so that was incredible. Um, and we have... Oh, Stevie, the Metagross. Look at that bad boy. Um, Brick Break Psychic, Meteor Mash, and Shadow Ball. Um, really like this moveset. It does have one special attack. Um... Oh, happy to see Stevie evolve, of course. Me too. Um, so I have toyed with the idea of maybe teaching Metagross like Sludge Bomb or Hyper Beam instead. I'm not entirely sure. I'll probably keep Psychic for now, um, and we'll see if it's an issue. Um, okay, so let me go ahead and get Harry Jr. all the way up. Um, and... The thing with the rare candies is you maybe don't want to use them if you've already, if you have not maxed out your EVs, but we have already done that from our many episodes of EV training. Um, so now Harry Jr. is elevated to level 50. And with that, I can go ahead and teach Harry this move here, which we have been saving for our entire run. Um, it would have been really good to teach Harry over here, the original Harry, 
but I taught Harry Blizzard instead so we could save Ice Beam for Harry Jr. I love this little interaction between those two. And I think I'm going to keep Confuse Ray for now. Light Screen, I believe, is a TM we can learn later. And we might end up just teaching Starmie Psychic anyway. Psychic or Calm Mind is probably what that last move is going to be. I might keep... Confuse Ray just for a little while because I have a hard time committing to things. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so that is incredible. Um, and then lastly, I made sure to only train Arrow up to level 46. I actually used a rare candy on him earlier because it was just way more annoying to... Uh, grind arrow in the wild and arrow is actually going to evolve at level 50 in two settlements oh scary face we don't care about scary face no way um all right let's get you all the way to 50 baby and this will uh get rid of all my rare candies last one let's do it arrow Yes! All that time and effort. Let's do it. Oh, what do I think a rare candy tastes like? That's actually a really interesting question. Oh yeah, look at that dragon. Um, what does a rare candy taste like? Uh, trying to learn fly. I actually don't want to teach arrow fly. And even if I did, I can always just teach it later. Yes, we'll stop learning fly. So much evolving, I know. The whole squad's getting ready. Okay, what does a rare candy taste like? Well, the little icon of it is blue. So I'm kind of envisioning like a, like a blue raspberry Jolly Rancher. Just kind of like off the top of my head. Or maybe, maybe it's kind of like a lint chocolate truffle. You know? That's what the brand is, right? Lint, L-I-N-D-T. Um... Um, you're thinking a warhead. Oh, okay. I can see that. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking one of those, one of those two. Like a blue Jolly Rancher or like a chocolate truffle. Um, okay. So we gotta teach Arrow Earthquake. This is a big one. It's so powerful, that's why it's rare. Ooh, I get that. I get that completely. Um, the Dragon Dance Earthquake combo is going to be really good on our friend, Arrow. Absolutely. So we're going to get rid of Dragon Breath, actually. And it is, it is interesting because we're actually not going to have the same type attack bonus Dragon move. We could if we wanted to with Dragon Claw. Um... But Dragon isn't a particularly great offensive type to have. We're actually going to teach our friend uh, Salamence Aerial Ace. Uh, because one, it will have the same type of attack bonus, it is flying type. And it never misses, which is incredible. Um, so that will actually replace Headbutt. And I'll learn Aerial Ace. All right. Um, so I'm trying to think on Starmie here. You know what? I am pretty sure... I'm just going to teach Starmie Psychic. Because that's what I want to do. And I don't really want it to be like a Calm Mind user. It's a little more frail. So I just want to get those moves off, say, moves off ASAP. Um, alright, I'm getting rid of Confuse Ray. Alright. There we go. There we go. Um, and that is why I actually didn't teach Psychic to Chimeco earlier in our playthrough. Okay, so now, uh, I reserved the right to make a few little tweaks, 
But this is pretty much what our squad is going to be for the uh, Battle Frontier. We have Harry Jr., the Starmie, with Thunderbolt, Psychic, Ice Beam, and Surf. We have Arrow, the Salamence, with Aerial Ace, Flamethrower, Dragon Dance, and Earthquake. And finally, we have Stevie the Metagross with Brick Break, Psychic, Meteor Mash, and Shadow Ball. I am so stoked on this team. This is going to be great. Um, all right, so first things first. We need to give the leftovers to somebody. And I am probably going to go ahead and give it to Arrow, specifically because Arrow has Dragon Dance, the move that we're going to like set up with, so we might want it to last a few more turns. Um, it could end up going to Metagross. We'll see. Um, King's Rock. I'm thinking I want to give this to Harry Jr. Now, there are some other hold items that could end up being better for us. Um, but we're going to be able to get more of those once we have more battle points um, from the Battle Frontier. But I'm going to check to see if I have any in my box here. Because sometimes when I have those items that I'm not really using, um, I'll do that. Oh, and I know some of my original squad. Oh, look at that PP Max. Um, black glasses. I don't have any dark moves, actually. Oh, a calcium. That's funny. I can just sell that, I guess. Um, Macho Brace doesn't really help us here. Um, let's see. We're going to go in here, and I can go to move items. So that'll help me grab any really good items that we might have. The Focus Band. Ooh, the Shell Bell. That could be nice. Um, I might give that to Metagross, too. And the Star You, for sure, has a Stardust. Oh, I have to put it on somebody. That's annoying. Um... Okay, so I could do Shell Bell, or I could do Lax Incense. Those are probably the best ones uh, for Metagross right now. Um, I'll go ahead and grab the Shell Bell, because Metagross is going to be a bit, probably our most defensive Pokemon, so that can help it last for a longer time, which I'm loving. I'll do this. Uh, yeah, Ziggy had the Stardust. Ziggy Stardust! <laughs> That's funny. Um, let's see. All right, let me sell these really quick. And then we can get started, baby. We can get started. It thrills me. That's right. Um, all right, we'll sell this calcium because we can't really use it anymore. All right, so there are a few moves that we can use our PowerPoint ups on. We have six of those. Oh, yeah, the Ziggy Stardust, I know. Uh, so there are a couple moves that are just going to be like perfect mainstays, never leaving the, never leaving the team. Um, one of those is going to be Earthquake. So I'm actually going to use a PP Max on Earthquake. Excellent. Um, I'm probably going to end up using the other one on... Ice Beam? Perhaps? Yeah, Ice Beam could be good. Yeah, get to give it 16. Um, yeah, it would be Ice Beam or Meteor Mash. I'll give it to Ice Beam. Because that'll be really useful. Perfection. And then for some of these PowerPoint ups, I'll use, I won't use all of them right now. I'll use one on Thunderbolt. I will use one on Meteor Mash. And I will use one, excuse me, on... Well, it's Shadow Ball for now. All right. We'll go with that for now. I'm not going to use one on Psychic because I have two Pokemon that know it. Um, but yeah, the only person... Harry Jr. is locked in with their moveset. I'm going to keep this Harry Jr.'s moveset for the duration, I'm pretty sure. Um, we could maybe pivot from Flamethrower if we want to, we'll see. And then we could maybe pivot from Psychic here um, into like, like I said, Hyper Beam or Sludge Bomb or something. Um, so, 
Now that I have the squad, I was thinking of starting over here at the Battle Factory. Um, but you don't actually use your team at the Battle Factory. And I thought that would be kind of a shame um, to finally get the squad and not use them. So we're going to start here. Um, and this is the Battle Pike. Choose one of three paths. And as you can see, this awesome, cool thing looks like a Viper. I love the Battle Pike. Um, it is one of my favorite spots in the Battle Frontier. And... Ooh, it's such a vibe. Yeah! Love it. Okay. So let's save. All right, gang. So, this here's the battle pike. This is one of the quickest things to get through in the battle frontier. Um, and what's great about this is, I guess this is a great time to explain the concept of a frontier brain. So basically, at the battle frontier, at each facility, you have to go through it a certain amount of times. And once you hit that certain amount of times, the frontier brain will appear at the end. Now, in the Battle Pike, I'm pretty sure the frontier brain of the Battle Pike will show up the second time through. So she won't show up here, but she will if we pass and then make it to the end of the second time as well. Um, so we're trying to do that. And the only other thing is if you lose at all, you have to restart your streak, which is why getting the gold symbols can be punishing. Uh, but the silver symbols, quite possible. Um, oh, we are battling now, Brody. As you can see, we have the squad. The squad is here. It's amazing. And as you can see, when uh, Shelgon evolves into Salamence, it gets that incredible intimidate ability. Heck yeah, baby. Um, all right, so we're going to do this. Hashtag bad star. Where the luck of trainers is put to the test. Welcome to the Battle Pike. I'm your guide to the Battle Pike. Would you like to take the Battle Choice Challenge? Absolutely. Um, so here it says, do we want to choose level 50 or open level? We have trained our squad to level 50, so we are going to choose level 50. And of course, the three Pokemon we're using are Harry, Arrow, and Stevie. The order will matter more um, especially for some other facilities, but for this time, it's not too crazy. Um, yes, that is acceptable. All right. Please step this way. Ooh, I love when you go step behind the curtain. So your battle choice challenge has now begun. Okay, so basically what happens is you can choose one of three different paths, um, and each one has something different. Some of them has wild Pokemon, um, some of them have um, a trainer you have to fight, some of them will have someone who will heal you, and the thing is you have to make it to the end of the Battle Pike without your whole team dying. And this uh, attendant here will give you kind of a clue as to what you can find in one of the paths, but it's kind of cryptic. Um, I could look up what it means, but I'm not going to this time. Uh, let me see, there's something about the path on the left. It seemed to have heard something. It may have been whispering. I think that means there could be a trainer um, or maybe someone who could heal you. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna try the middle. Oh, Brody, thanks for stopping in at all. I appreciate you, dude. Oh, okay, what we got here? Here we have you battle a somewhat tough trainer. So this is not a good one. <laughs> uh, wow. And you'll notice here a somewhat tough trainer for the first time through the Battle Pike is still not going to be anything too crazy. Um, your first time through each battle facility is going to be relatively pretty easy. Like, we are, we're gonna f fight some, like, level 50 first form Pokemon. Like, we'll see, we'll see, like, a level 50 Charmander or something. Oh yeah, this guy is not bad. Um, I might swap out here, actually. Uh, no, we'll stick with Surf. We got that special attack nature. 
That's right, baby. That's a two shot. Oh, and his attack missed. Come on. Get out of here. Perfection. And Harry is actually a great lead. Um, simply because it has uh, Harry has a lot of coverage, but I say that, and here I'm actually going to swap. Because um, Absol as a dark type could really hurt our friend Starmie. Perfect. Love to see that. We're killing it right now, fam. All right. He told me we didn't take a shot. Oh yes, and I think after this, yes, if you battle a somewhat tough trainer, you can be healed afterwards, which is actually quite helpful. And it's really interesting because once you get to the end of your second challenge, the frontier brain will be there. And it's always an interesting proposition trying to have your team as healthy as possible for that battle because you don't know what's behind these curtains. Um, all right. I am finding it. Let's see. Path in the center. Seems to have the distinct aroma of Pokemon wafting around it. Now, I think that can mean that you will have like a wild Pokemon area. Yes, that's where we are right now. So here... There's just kind of this little labyrinth where you can run into wild Pokemon, like we're running into right now. And what a lot of these Pokemon are going to do, here we have a Melodic, um, they're going to try to inflict status on you. Um, and that's just another difficult part of the Battle Pike. But sometimes you can run away, like I am. Starmie's pretty fast, so I'm hoping we should be able to run away from just about anything that we're going to see in here. It's a Viper! The mascot herself. All right. Yeah, Harry is probably our fastest Pokemon. Uh, Salamence is probably up there too, but... There we go, made it through. I usually like to go through those, especially if I have a fast lead that can hopefully run away. All right, we're going to go for it. Once again, now I don't think if she says that it has the distinct aroma of Pokemon wafting around it, um, I don't think that means that it will always be this wild Pokemon area. Um, but I do think it's likely. Yeah, Melodic and Saviper are two iconic Battle Pike Pokemon. Uh, I mean, obviously, Sviper. The building is a Sviper. Ah, right at the end. I think Melodics use Toxic on you if you let, if you allow them to. Perfection. Excuse me. All right. And I think you have to go through seven rooms. I think that was th that was three or four for us. Path on the left. All right, let's try it again. Once again, so nothing too crazy so far. Um, sometimes you'll get through, you'll kind of get into um, one of these areas and a Pokemon that you should be able to run away from, you aren't able to, you can't escape. Like here's a Dusclops. Um, like we are definitely faster than this thing, a higher level, should be able to run. But I think there are some times where the game kind of cheeses you so you can't escape even when you should be able to. But that's all right. Um, all right, let's see what you got. Sure. A trainer? I sense the presence of people. I'm gonna go to the center. I don't want a trainer right now. Ah, is this another somewhat tough? Yep. <laughs> well, the somewhat tough trainer wasn't too tough for us last time. I have a pretty optimally trained squad. And now I'm happy that I taught Harry Jr. Psychic. Because we can just take care of this fool. Lovely. I do love Primeape, though. 
Primate gets an evolution in Generation 9, which is so cool. I freaking love that Pokemon. Ooh, Secret Power can paralyze, which I hate. Okay, great. Um, yeah, I could have swapped into Met Metagross there, but we'll stay with Harry. Uh, I really enjoy Porygon. I think Porygon's a pretty underrated Pokemon. All right, Agility, that's fine. This thing could have an electric move. We'll see, though. Oh, interesting. Citrus Berry. Oh, I'm still faster. Ooh, Harry is fast. Baby, come on. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, gang. And this is great, because I'll get healed. I'll get healed. Lovely. Okay. Be do doo Path in the center. I felt a wave of nostalgia coming from it. What does that mean? I don't remember. Ah, oh my, watch out! Yes, here, someone's Pokemon can get loose and inflict you with a status. In this case, this uh, old guy's Curlia just poisoned us with Toxic. I really don't appreciate that. Um, so it can poison more than one and it sure did fortunately stevie can't get poison but there you have it there you have it not what we want to see um because as you can see here in the battle pike we don't have any items so we're really to our own devices here yes could have been whispering i think there could be a trainer here which could help us in the long run Oh, are you just a person? Yeah, there can literally just be a person. They're just standing in there. You talk to them, nothing happens. But we're close to the end. Yes, we are. Ooh, I love that little Sviper thing in the in the center of the room there. Oh, that's cool. Congratulations. Now, this way, please. So, now that we have completed the Battle Pike Challenge, um, we are awarded one battle point. Um... You get more than one battle point for completing some of the other facilities, but for the Battle Pike, at least the first time through, you only get one. Um, so that is incredible, and as you can see, battle points, one, baby! We got one battle point. And here, oh, I've, I haven't really pointed this out, uh, the battle record, you can take a battle that you have in the Battle Frontier and save it to your battle record. So let's say I have a sick fight with one of the Frontier Brains. I can save it to my battle record, and anytime I want to, I can just click on it and watch it, which is fun. Probably won't ever do it, but it's a fun little thing. Um, and I love this little map where you can kind of just go through everything and like uh, select one of three paths to battle. Uh, so, 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 so cool. All right. All right, we're gonna try another facility for today because I don't want to do all of the Battle Pike just in one go. Um, let's see here. Do I want to, where do I want to go? We're gonna go here to the Battle Factory. Um, I said we weren't gonna do that at first, but uh, I'm excited about it. I, I love the Battle Factory where the intelligence of trainers is put to the test. Welcome to the Battle Factory. So, what you do in the Battle Factory is you use rental Pokemon, so you don't use your own squad. And after every battle, you have the option to swap one of your team from the team you just battled against. And the more you swap, the better chance you have of being able to obtain a stronger Pokemon. It's really interesting. Um, so we're gonna start that now. Um, okay, and this guy's gonna tell us a little bit about the upcoming opponent. No clear favorites when it comes to type. The favorite battle style appears to be weakening the foe to start. And again, that kind of gives you a hint of how they're gonna battle. Some of them means they'll want to use status. Uh, some of it will mean that they'll want to just use really strong attacks. 
It just depends. Excuse me. And now we get to choose. So we have a Celio, a Teddy Ursa, a Minin, a Coughing, a Graveler, and a Lickitung. Um, so we're gonna look at these little... Okay, it's got a Citrus Berry, Slam, Brick Break, Lick, Mud Slap. I actually like that. Magnitude and Rock Throws, not bad. Brick Break as well. Um, sludge is good. It's nice to have an electric move on the team. And it's not the worst move set in the world on Celio, but for me, I'm really liking the coverage of Lickitung. Um, mine in, and then I'm gonna go with Graveler. I like this. And I, I, I try not to spend too much time on that. I can deliberate forever about which ones I'm gonna take, but... And, like, I'm thinking one thing that I would really like for my team is maybe a water move, for example. If I go up against this guy, and he has, you know, an Azumarill, and it has, and it knows Surf. I'm like, that's a really good water move to have. I want to be able to use that. Um, I would want to swap out for that. Now here we don't have great options. Um, okay, if you're just going to use Fake Out, that's fine. Because Sableye might not have good options to fight us with. Like, Knock Off's very weak, but it did knock off our Citrus Berry, which I don't enjoy. This, oh, it has Keen Eye. It can't lower its, uh, whatchamacallit, accuracy. Okay. And this is, this is always interesting. Okay, Fake Out won't work, which is great. Playing the Magnitude Lottery, baby. Okay, if we can get, like, a Magnitude... We should live one more of those. Alright, let's try it. Oh, I didn't even look to see what item Graveler had. Focus Band. Okay. And that could help Graveler live against, like, a Surf or something. To where, like, a water move that would for sure just knock it out in one shot. Uh, Neat Arena's pretty good. Magnitude will help us, but... It kills us with a double kill. Oh, goodness gracious, kids. Um, here I like Lickitung. We can use Mud Slap for super effective damage. And then some Slams. Great, and that will actually lower the accuracy this time. Da -da. Let's see. Oh, I actually completely forgot that a new double kick. Ah, oh, slam is just so inaccurate. Um, I knew I'd get some flinches from bite eventually. Oh, aerial ace! Wow. Um. Okay. There we go. So we're actually not doing incredibly. I might pick up that neat arena. It's really nice to have Aerial Ace. And this Plusle's probably going to know a lot of the same moves. Don't kill me. Great. It's probably going to know a lot of the same moves that Minin has. So we might be in for a little bit of a long battle. <laughs> um, let's see. Okay. All right. So, Minin against Plusle. Uh, what? I know. What item do I have? Salad Berry. Alright, the only attacking move I have is Spark. So really, I am just trying to outspark the Plusle. And I'm hoping that I can get a miss, uh, because I was able to get a Mud Slap in against... Um, oh, Fake Tears. My Special Defense harshly fell. Let me... Oh, this could be bad, guys. <laughs> I could lose the first fight. <laughs> oh, no. 
Okay, so my speed rose, but do you have it too? Oh, your special attack rose. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> Well, guys, that was way closer than I wanted it to be for our very first battle. I know! Woo, doggy, that was close. Um, I actually like the Plusles moveset more than the Minins. Um, okay, so let's do this. I've conducted a little investigation. The trainer is apparently skilled of the grass type. Favorite battle style appears to be weakening the foe from the start. Yes, that makes me want to take... I'm going to get rid of Lickitung. I actually didn't enjoy using it. And I'm going to pick up that uh, Nidorina um, because it knows Aerial Ace, which I love. And it's also Poison type, which should fare pretty well um, against any Grass types. Of course, it immediately lies to me. This Vibrava is not what I want to see. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't have any ground moves, um, which would be good against my Graveler here. Ooh, Magnitude should still hit it underground. Oh, it has Levitate. Oh boy, I forgot about that. I did not remember that it has Levitate. Okay. Oh, great! Throws the match. Love that. Um... My goodness, guys. All right, yeah, that's a one-shot every day of the week on Graveler, but that's okay. Um, oh, I can actually use mine in here uh, because Skiploom is part flying type, so my sparks are going to work a little better than they usually would against a grass type, so I want to take advantage of that. Um, oh, and one other thing about the Battle Frontier um, that you'll notice is that these battles are in set mode at least here in the Battle Factory. Um, so we it won't say, like, you know, do you want to send this Pokemon out? You have to just deal with what comes out, you know, like what it would actually be, like, be in real life. Parasect. Um, one shot from our Aerial Ace will take care of Parasect. Um, but if I can get a little damage in and maybe paralyze it while I'm at it, that's going to be wonderful. All right, it's not really able to do much to us here. Besides lower our accuracy. Nice crit. There we go. All right. Let's swap out here. Uh, Aerial Ace. There we go. Parasect is quad weak to flying. Camper Chen. All right. So that was our second battle. You have to get through seven. Let's see. Apparently skilled the water type. Okay. Yes. So I definitely... I want to swap out Graveler. Um, and I would maybe want to grab Skip Loom for that water... Um, trainer, but I actually want to get Vibrava. I love that it knows Dragon Breath and Dig. And also, the Dragon type will still be okay um, against the water types that this trainer might have. Um, ooh, Corsola. Still use Double Kick. It's not a ton of damage, but I'll take that. Let's see. One more should do the trick. Uh, maybe not. Not with a citrus berry. Having a nice water move and rock move is pretty good, though, so I will consider picking up that Corsola. Um, and here, I'm so glad I picked up the Vibrava! There we go. Oh, nice poison point. Love to see that. 
All right, we should be able to live through this second rollout, I would guess. Oh, critical hit, never mind. Um, okay. Oh, Rock Tomb, also very good. Don't kill me. Oh, great, yeah. Um, so yeah, this Vibrava is pretty strong. All right, let's see what you got. Sweet Kiss is good. Um, I mean, obviously, being confused, I hate. Ah, uh, yes, light screen. Dig. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, Dig might be, might not be the greatest choice in the world for me, but now that I snapped out, I'm feeling a lot better. Mmm. Boy, do I hate attract. And I'm pretty sure Minin is also female. A lot of times when you're playing through the game, that gives us the opening to spark it to death. A lot of the times when you're playing through the game, um, the NPC Pokemon will be female and use attract on your male Pokemon. But in this case, it was the other way around. And of course, Pokemon being just thinking in binaries. Um, okay. So this person, what they got? No clear favorites. Um, absolutely. We are going to swap Nidorina. And we're going to pick up that Corsola. So yeah, even if you kind of really like your squad, it is a pretty good strategy to just swap every time. Just because it gives you more access to stronger Pokemon. Um, and you'll see our second time through the Battle Factory, um, there's going to be stronger Pokemon pretty immediately. Um, and I don't like that we get hit with Intimidate there, but Ancient Power is gonna be four times um, effective against Masquerade here. So we're gonna go for it anyway. All right, I'll take that. You stun spore all you want, homie. I am already paralyzed. I don't like icy wind as much, though. Oh, yeah, we eat that. And our speed's already cut from being paralyzed, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Ah, uh, here's a Zoomeril. I feel like I talked about a Zoomeril earlier. Okay. Um, let's see what happens here. Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't want a hard swap into mine, and if it's going to be using dig. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, that actually helps that I was paralyzed because it saves my last ancient power, which missed. Gosh dang it. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, that's fine. I will take that. It's interesting that it moved away from Dig, especially when I have my Minin out here. Ooh, Protect. So it knows Facade, Dig, Protect, and Bubble Beam. That's not bad. That might replace Corsola, actually. Um, ooh, Flame Body. Unfortunate. Oh yeah, that burn will hurt too. Yeah, that raises my speed. All right, we're gonna get one more move in here. Oh, I should have used Encore, because then the only move it would have been able to use is Sandstorm. But the Brava is actually in a good spot uh, because Macargo is four times weak to ground moves. So there you have it. There you have it, sports fans. It's okay that I got burned. There we go. And yeah, it is kind of unfortunate that Minin only has that one attacking move. Um, but it's been very useful. Um, it's always nice to kind of have one of those elemental moves. 
Um, here, I am going to swap Corsola because I do have Rock Tomb on uh, the Brava. I'm going to take this Azumarill. And Azumarill is pretty bulky. <laughs> the Pokedex is a little radio. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, all right, what you got, homie? F Flaffy, not good for a water type. So let's go into the Brava. All right, light screen, I don't hate. <laughs> good. Uh, I'm glad you like that, Chloe. Um, oh, one shot, critical hit, baby. Not even static. I am feeling ecstatic. <laughs> and I got this four times rock tomb on this Butterfree. Get wrecked. Sorry, I'm feeling myself right now. Sometimes you just kind of get lucky with tight matchups, and sometimes you get really unlucky, and I'm sure that will happen. I mean, it kind of happened earlier on. Um, we'll use Dragon Breath, because that is more likely to hit. All right. Ooh, Kabuto. Um... So it was Flaffy, Butterfree, Kabuto. I don't love it. I'm probably going to pick up the Flaffy in, in place of Minin, because it probably does know um, something decent. At least at least a one decent electric type move, I would imagine. Alright, what you got? Just a citrus berry. I don't like getting hit with a sand attack and then using a two-turn move. Yep. But I'm going to keep trying. Ooh, protect. All right, I will dig around the protect. There we go. We got it. And Flaffy evolves into one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, so I'm feeling great about it. Yes, so we have two more matches before we get battle points. Um, yes, we're going to swap Minin. You've been good to us. But we're going to pick up uh, this here Flaffy. And we can set up light screen if we need. All right, okay. Hey there, who is your rival? I don't really know, dude. May kind of dropped off throughout our playthrough. Ooh, Sableye. This is uh, similar to the first trainer we fought. Might have the same moveset, too. If Fake Out's any indication, it is. Um, and Azumarill is pretty bulky. It's not terribly strong, but it has some good versatility. Um, what does Flaffy have? Static is good. Magnet. Oh, Shockwave. Love it. Okay. So pretty, pretty similar build. Um, I am going to swap out to get rid of that. Confusion. Probably just keep doing this until I find a situation I like. All right, that'll work. Um, we'll just dig. Sableye does not have a levitate. There you have it. Coughing does have levitate question mark i know it should um let's see i don't want to mess around and find out all right nice critical hit love to see that um all right i am just going to again just not mess around with that um go to azumarill Coughing does not have incredible uh, special defense. There we go. Oh, yes. Torment. Here it is. Torment makes it so I can't use a move two times in a row. So facade this time it is. Which is annoying. Um, I have to sneeze. Whew. Maybe not. So we defeated the Sableye, we defeated the Coughing, and what else is left? A Volbeat. I actually really like the squad that we have right now. Ugh, freaking Torment. Um, Silverwind isn't bad. It is like the Bug-type Ancient Power, essentially. 
Oh wow, critical hit too. Oh, okay, that's some good damage. Yeah, I really like this Azumarill. I don't want to get rid of this Azumarill. We could maybe get rid of the Volbeat, or maybe pick up the Volbeat. Hmm. Maybe I won't swap just this once. Yes, what do you have? No clear favors when it comes to type. I mean, I'm not that attached to Flaffy. But then again, I, d I really don't like want to need a, an electric type or anything. Um, mm, this is tough. And I can do this forever. This is why the Battle Factory can be a little frustrating. Um, let's see. Ooh, I'm gonna swap Flaffy. Oops. And we are gonna pick up this bowl beat. All right, let's see. Okay. That might have been a terrible choice. We'll find out. We will find out. <laughs> Pretty immediately. I would love to have a Flaffy right now. But at least Azumarill is going to give us some good defense against this thing. Um, and that Slash is pretty good, but okay. Nothing to worry about there. That's good. Minin. Okay, so I know if it's anything like the one I had, its only attacking move is going to be Spark. So I'm going to shift in by Bravo. Mmm, and Charm. That's going to be the annoying thing. Because it'll probably hit me again. Yeah. So I, I do have Dig here. It's just not going to do too terribly much damage after two Charms. I'm going to see if I can lower its speed a little bit. Enough to outspeed it, hopefully. Great. I can go for Dragon Breath, which will use my special attack. Um... It's just not going to be as powerful. Even my weakened dig is still going to be the play here, it seems. Very glad we ended up picking the Braba. Um, so that is the great thing about the Battle Factory. It's really fun because our team to start was Lickitung, Minin, and Graveler. And now our squad is Azumarill, Vibrava, and Volbeat. Um, it's just super fun. I like it a lot. Um, all right. I thought maybe with that bear he was going to outspeed us. But luckily we wall it pretty well. Um, it can only use Spark to attack. All right, what's last? A Pupitar. Interesting. Um, let's see. Okay, you're going to dig. That's fine. Um, Pupitar is going to be... Oh, I have Levitate. Heck yeah, I forgot about that. Um, it is going to be... Actually, I just want to see what this... Silver Wind, Confuse Ray, Quick Attack, Helping Hand. It's not terrible. Um, ooh, excuse me. I will just swap into a Zoom Reel here because since Pupitar is a Rock and Ground type, this Bubble Beam should be pretty devastating. But let's see. Not quite. One more shot. And I will take that. Because that will take this battle to the bank, kids. Very nice. Love that. And so, that is our first time through the Battle Factory. In recognition of your wealth of knowledge and keen intelligence, we award you these battle points. We obtained three battle points. Heck yes. Um, and that takes a little bit longer, so, and it can be a little bit harder, so you get a few more battle points for doing it. Um, great. Oh, so here he's asking us, would you like to record your last Battle Factory match on your Frontier Pass? 
it wasn't that memorable to me, so I'm just going to say no. And we're not likely to watch it. I like to sometimes put, like, a really good Frontier Brain match on there or something. Um, but, folks, with that, I am so stoked to finally be starting the challenge portion of the Battle Frontier. And, uh, we're gonna get all the silver symbols, baby. Um, we are part way to the factory. We are part way to the pike. And next time, it is gonna get fun now, that's right. And next time, we will... Oh, silver symbols for Silver Cave! Ugh. Oh, person after my own heart. Thank you, Chloe. Um, but, anyway, it's gonna be great. I'm having a blast with this. I appreciate you all watching and following along, however you do so. And, thanks, Chloe. And with that, have a great night. Have a great week. I will see you next time. Probably not Wednesday. Um, there's a chance I go tomorrow, maybe even tomorrow and Thursday. But until then, just stay tuned. And uh, appreciate you all. Have a good night. Peace.